Hello everybody, Renee here. I am doing a psychic reading that will hopefully give you some clarity and guidance as to what you should do. Um, if you have a, a decision to make, a choice to make, a tough choice, or you're, you're at a crossroads in your life, hopefully we can get some messages here with the cards, you know, um, coming through from your angels and spirit guides and even higher self, and I'll see what I get psychically as well. So, first of all, you need to draw or choose one of these cards, one, two, or three. And once you've made your choice, you can look below at those timestamps and fast forward to your reading. And I really hope this reading gives you some clarity on what to do or where to go next. Again, choose the card you feel the most drawn to. Is it card number one, card number two, or card number three, and then we will get to your reading. You can look below at the timestamps. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, share this video, and subscribe. Consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. I appreciate it. Okay, group one, if you chose this first card, this is your reading. So your first card here is the wheel, the wheel of fortune, a very fortunate card, obviously, to start off with. So let's see what else we got with the tarot. I did pre-shuffle, but I'll just do a few shuffles here before we start drawing. All right, group one, what else do you need to know? We're gonna get some clarity here. All right, we have four of wands. We have strength, great card. The two of cups. We have the two of swords. The king of swords. And we have the lovers. I was gonna say, you know what, with that two of cups, I bet you we're gonna get the lovers and I bet your choice has to do with love. That's what it is absolutely validating for me. Let me just try to get these centered a little bit better. So your choice is definitely, it has to do with love. The Two of Cups is a new beginning in love. There is this King of Swords who can be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It can be a male or female. Um, so it's either to start over again, get past some kind of problems or issues or troubles you've been having with a loved one, a spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. So it's a fresh start or it's someone new coming in who wants to be a couple, who wants to be in a loving relationship with you and you're not sure how you're feeling, right? So that seems to be what this is about. That's what I'm gonna do, where I'm gonna go with this reading. And if it doesn't resonate for you, go ahead and pick your second choice reading and go ahead and fast forward to that. But for those of you that this resonates for, um, I'm gonna tell you what I see. I'm gonna draw on some of these cards as well. I mean, we've got the Wheel of Fortune, which actually looks very, very good, starting off there and then with the lovers. It looks like this relationship would be very beneficial for you, okay? The Two of Swords is a choice card. It's always a choice card. So that's also validating this reading for you. Strength could be courage, the courage to love again. All right, we got this card. We have Ten of Wands. All right, there's hard work. And we also have Five of Wands, okay. I feel like this might be from the past where you've, you've felt defeated. Um, someone hurt you, broke your heart, let you down, and you're not easily falling in love again or not easily able to fall in love again, right? But there's this person in your life or coming into your life that you are considering maybe, you know, giving a chance to this relationship, giving it a chance. Let's draw one more with the tarot and I'll let you know what else I get. Yeah, you also have the emperor here. This is essentially, um, it can be a, a person. It can be a person who's honest and hardworking and respectable and dependable. And if you are the empress, he is your emperor or vice versa. So it's kind of validating for me that this person would be ideal for you. Now, as I said, the king of swords can be male, female, air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. But there's also quite a bit of fire energy here with the wands. You know, we've got three wands here and the lovers is a fire energy as well. 
So you or this other person could be a fire, sun, or moon sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, so keep that in mind. It does look like it would be a good relationship. It would be beneficial. I'm going to see what else I get with the tea leaf cards. Whoops. There's one that flipped out. So we're going to use that one first. We got handshake. A meeting with a stranger could be important. And let's see what else we get for you. They just They do want to flip out, so let's see. We got needle and thread. A sincere wish will be granted. All right, I'm going to do one more of the tea leaf cards. Whoops, let me get that one kind of flung across the room. Hand in need of help, assistance, and guidance. Yes, maybe that's where I'm coming in. Maybe it were, this is where the video is coming in. You're need, in need of help, assistance, or guidance, right? with this relationship. A needle and thread also reminds me of mending something. So for some of you, this is mending a relationship, okay? Um, someone who maybe let you down recently or in the past and you had a falling out. And this is kind of saying you are able to mend that relationship and extend your hand, you know, whether it's your hand for marriage or just your hand to hold and to love. And we have handshake as well. Holding hands can be a very, um, you know, a very personal a connection with people by touching hands, right? So, so far, group one, it looks like giving this person a chance or a second chance may be beneficial for you. Let's see what else we get with some more Oracle cards. And if you're watching this and you're not in a relationship, it looks like someone's coming in. And you will hopefully be ready for this new love coming in, right? All right, so we have milestone. This can be birthday, anniversary, pregnancy, birth, wedding, something like that. We have increase. This is about abundance. We have happy success. Fragmented energy, yes. Okay, so let me move these up just a little bit. I always think I'm gonna have enough room and then I don't, so let me move them up. All right, so fragmented energy. This is from the past. Your energy has been fragmented from heartbreak. Look at that. The one puzzle piece missing in this female in the image is in the heart area, the heart chakra area. So she was disappointed and water is emotion. So she's very emotional. She's maybe grieving someone or maybe trying to heal from a heartbreak or heartache, right? So her energy is fragmented, but it is able to be mended. Love is what can mend this energy. Love is what can heal her heart is what I'm getting. Now milestone, for many of you, maybe this is someone you've already, you've been with for a very long time and you're considering leaving or a divorce or whatever. Um, so it's saying, no, there's more milestones to be reached with this person possibly, right? More anniversaries in a sense. Increase in abundance and joy, there's happy success. Let's see what we can get with my Color Goddess casting cards as well for you, Group 1. All right, let's see what we get. Wow. We got Angels, Purity, Radiance. I'm going to move these over just a little because I wanted to draw two of these. So let's see. We'll draw one more. Plans, preparation, and training. So what these are telling you are, number one, you have angels around you. As I said at the beginning, you've got your spirit guides, your spiritual posse, your guardian angels and your spirit guides around you, helping to direct you to make the right decision. This also means that this is what your loved one sees in you or what this new person coming in, if it's a new person, sees in you. They see your radiant light. They see your purity, your pure essence, your true self, 
that's what they're attracted to, okay? Plans preparation training. I think this just has to do with you preparing your heart, preparing your heart for this new love. Being ready and open for it, okay? Being ready and open for this new love, either, either returning or coming in. I'm going to draw a final message here, one of the Divine Doors cards, and see what else you need to know, Group 1. That one flipped out. So this is what it looks like. And it says, Patience. Everything soon will come to light, and then you will see things will be all right. Everything will come to light. And you'll see things will be all right, group one. And according to the cards and according to who I'm tuning into right now, this has to do with love. Repairing the heart chakra, extending a hand, holding hands, meeting a lover, a true love, allowing this person to come in, allowing yourself to love them fully, being open to it and believing in it believing in the person, believing in the possibilities of love. Some people say, well, I was with my soulmate, met my soulmate, we broke up. I'm never going to find love again. I'm never going to love like that again. Not true. We have more than one soulmate, first of all. And think about it. Love is infinite. Love is boundless and infinite. You can fall in love multiple times in a lifetime with multiple soulmates. That's the way it goes. But you have to be open for it. You have to maybe let them help you to heal that heart chakra, right? Okay. So I hope this helps you. Group one, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Hello group two, if you chose the second card, this is your reading. So let's see what tarot card you get first. You got temperance. It's all about balance, tempering a situation, emotional balance and mental balance, but mostly emotional, spiritual balance. Let's see what else we get with the tarot so I can tap into whatever's on your mind. Whatever you are having a hard time with right now, deciding what to do or which way to go, what choice to make, what is going on with group two. I'm tapping into your guides and angels. Let's see what we get here. All right, group two. So we also have the magician, yes. We have death. We have knight of wands. Justice, wow, a lot of major arcana for you. The Three of Coins. And we have the Eight of Cups. So let me straighten these out and take a look at all of these cards. So, Group Two, I'm tapping into you. Let's see what we're getting here. Balancing the Magician. Okay, there's a loss here. There's Justice, there's a Coin card, and there's Chalices. All right. Now, for some of you, this could mean the loss of a job and you're not sure what to do, where to turn to, what, what to apply for or what to do next, all right? But I feel like there is a time, a time constraint to this choice. Maybe you got offered a job and you need to decide quickly, right? So let's see what we get. For those of you that that resonates with, I'm gonna draw on that, because that's what I'm feeling so far. The sun, wow, wow. So here's, here's the message here, and if this doesn't resonate for you, if your question isn't about work or a career um, choice or, or decision, then Maybe you want to go to another reading or watch the rest of this and then go to your second choice, the second card you chose. But for most of you, this definitely has to do with, there's loss of employment here with the death card next to the magician. This is the end of something. You were master of your trade or very good at what you did, but it came to a quick ending for whatever reason. Now, there is something new 
being offered to you, right? We've got the Eight of Cups. We have Justice and the Sun as well. With this Knight of Wands, you have to maybe decide quickly. So far, everything looks very, very positive here. So far, everything looks like this new job coming in would be better for you. Some of you, this might be a question of quitting your job and taking another one or applying to this other place or whatever. In which case, it looks, it looks very good. The change looks positive. We have Knave of Wands and the King of Wands. Male or female, this is somebody who, um, fire sign, fire, sun, or moon sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, possibly. But wands are work and school, okay? So there is a question of ending something and starting something new. If you're in school or college, it might be you want to change your major, you want to switch over to something else, and you have to decide quickly. I'm here to say that it does look good if you change, if you make this change, this transformation, whether it's the end of a job or the switch of a job or the switch of a major, it does look beneficial. And you will receive communication about this, um, positive communication about this change. Um, and someone involved, like I said, could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, some of you, it is concerning a child or another family member. So this issue has to do with you by proxy, right? So it might really have to do with your son or daughter or mother or father or spouse. But it is the thing that's on your mind right now. There's family there. Son can be family and bliss as well. So know that this change could possibly and would probably be for the better, all right? So that's what I have to tell you so far. We're gonna draw a few of the tea leaf cards and see what else we get. So there's one. So the first one here is Archway. New opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up. Absolutely, group two. Secondly, we have Box. You will receive a gift. And thirdly, let me shuffle this other pile. Let's see what else we get for you, group two. Whoops, I'm dropping them all over. We're going to go with that one that fell right in the, the spot where I want to put it. Spear, heartache over what you no longer have. So that, I feel, is the fear. I feel that's the fear of this change, of this transformation. You're afraid you're going to regret this choice, right? Don't make this decision from a place of fear, group two. Do not make this decision from a place of fear. Stay optimistic and positive because it looks like the change would be for the better. That's how it looks so far. We're gonna draw some more oracle cards. I love how that archway um, tea leaf card came up. New opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up. Some of you might just be out of work right now and you don't know what to do and you're worried about something coming up, a job. So our first card here is decrease. So that I feel is from the past of this loss of a job. But what I was saying was, if you did lose your job or you're unemployed, this is definitely a new job coming in. This is a career coming in, a job, employment, or schooling or training, okay? We have great achievement for you also, group two. Sorry, I just wanna try to see if I can get them all on here so you can read all of these on the bottom, okay. And thirdly, we have the Sacred Temple. That's a spiritual card. And fourth, we have planning and action, yes. And that even looks like either a manor or a college there as well. So I do feel like a lot of you are, are helping out a son or daughter or, or making a decision about schooling or a learning institution. But the sacred temple is spiritual and it's just kind of your guides and your angels way of saying, you, you are entering the sacred temple, meaning we are communicating with you clearly. We are going to clearly help to let you know what to do in this situation. Okay, what to do in this situation. Now, for some of you, the de decrease might mean there would be a slight decrease in your wages if you change to this new job. 
I'm not getting a huge decrease, though. I mean, I'm not getting like it would be devastatingly less than what you used to make or what you make now. I feel like if you weighed the pros and cons of this new thing, it would probably, the pros would still probably outweigh the cons. Maybe it'd be even in um, a different position altogether that involved less stress. So you would be happier, right? That's a possibility, especially with this temperance card here, where there's a balancing of emotionals, emotions and mentality and spirituality. But we have great achievement. So you have achieved something great or you will. I mean, the magician tells me, yes, you have achieved something great. Maybe you've reached all the goals you could reach at your current or former employment place, place, place of employment. And, um, you know, you're done. You're bored now. You can't move up any higher. And in that case, again, this change is for the better is what it looks like so far. Planning an action. Knight of Wands is action. Having to make a decision quickly. If your instincts are telling you to take this new position or make this transformation, don't hesitate. You don't want to lose out. I'm getting the word urgency from your guides. So it's, it's urgent. It's something you really need to decide fairly quickly, all right? So do a five-minute meditation, tap in, and see what you get. So Color Goddess Casting Cards, our first card is Lime, Collaboration, Corporation, and Groups. It's also the sign of Libra. We also have Orange, Enthusiasm, Fun, Vitality. That is the sign of Virgo. So we have some Libra energy here, Virgo energy here. It's saying that this new job, I feel, would have you collaborating more with groups of people. And also, it might be more fun for you. It'd be more pleasurable overall. Libra, Virgo, and a fire sign involved in this situation. That King of Wands. Let's see what we get as a final message for you, Group 2, with the Doors cards. What door will we draw for you, Group 2? So I chose this one. And on the back it says, Silent Skill. I challenge you to unpack your mind. In meditation's grace, the soul can unwind. Breathe in, breathe out. Let go of doubt, Group 2. Let go of doubt. You know what's best for you. Money might be not as important to you as working with people and having fun and enjoying your work, right? Money, the decrease in the salary or whatever might not be as important to you. So I hope this helps you with your choice, your decision, your crossroads coming up or happening right now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hello, group three, if you chose this third card, this is your reading. So let's see what your first tarot card is. You chose the tower. This is the destruction that brings about change. It brings about, about drastic change, drastic but necessary change. So something is destroyed, so something new can be built or created. So let's see specifically what it is that's going on with you, group three. What is on your mind? What do you need to decide? What are the crossroads that you have come upon right now at this point in your life? Let's see what else we can get with some more tarot cards. Whoops, that flipped out. We're going to use that one first. It is the Knight of Swords. We have the Five of Coins, the Stars, or the Star, the Nine of Wands, the Knight of Wands, that also came up for Group 2, and we have finally the Three of Coins also came up for Group 2. So, let me take a look at all of these cards. All right. The tower is that destructive force coming in. Knight of Swords is very quick mentality. 
Five of coins, okay. This can be either poverty or some type of health issue, right? Um, feeling downtrodden or desolate or depressed. But we have the star, which is a wish card. Then we have that nine of wands, which is all about feeling secure, feeling secure, safe and secure. Knight of wands also comes in pretty quickly like that knight of swords. And then we have the three of coins, which is all about reaping rewards, right? Working hard and then reaping those rewards, which actually comes before the stability of the nine. So this could be either money or health issues for you, group three. I'm going to draw a few more cards to see what's happening here. Now, whether it's money or health, maybe you recently got really sick or had a near-death experience or you had some type of a breakdown or a flare-up or whatever it might be, something wrong with your health. It looks like, like something was done quickly to help you or a treatment or a surgery. And with the star card here, that's a wish, a wish of healing coming after this point of pain or ill health, there is the wish coming true, right? Doing the work to reap the rewards, doing the work, following, you know, the doctor's protocol or your healthcare professional's protocol, trying a new treatment. It's actually going to bring you to a point of better health where you are reaping the rewards of all the work you've done, whether it's changing your diet, losing weight, trying a new treatment, getting, recovering from a surgery. Let's see what else we get for you, group three. So we have the two of wands. Yes, your dominion. You are comfortable in your dominion. We have the seven of coins. This can be all about, um, it can be preparing for something. And we have the Eight of Wands. This is a strength card. It's a fortitude card. It's telling you, you have the strength and the courage in order to feel better. But it's going to take some kind of disassembling or let's say, I don't want to say rock bottom. I feel like a lot of you have already hit your rock bottom, okay? That's what I'm feeling. You've hit your rock bottom. You're either very depressed or very sick or have very ill health, right? You are definitely going to be feeling better. You're going to be feeling better. Someone is coming to the rescue to help you, whether it's a doctor or a friend or a loved one. Someone's coming in. They're going to advise you very well. And with this new treatment or surgery or procedure or whatever it is, you're going to be feeling better. I'm going to draw one more tarot card on these for you, group three. All right, so we have also, okay, yeah, the five of swords. We'll put that right next to that five of coins. Because that five of swords is about feeling defeated. You're defeated, you're exhausted, you don't know what else to do. You feel like nothing is going to help how you're feeling, whether it's an, a mental illness or a physical illness, okay? Your guides, your angels are here to tell you someone is coming in who's going to help you. Could be a new doctor, could be a best friend or a good friend or a healthcare professional, a holistic healer, an energy worker like myself. Someone is coming in to help you to feel better and more balanced, group three. So the first card, look, we got dark man dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair. That one just flipped right over. Let's see what else we get with the tea leaf cards. So that's probably one of those knights coming in to help you. We also have frying pan trouble accusations. And we'll do one more tea leaf card. All right. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Solid foundation success with effort. Group three. I could not have wished for better validation. Look at this. The Tower Tarot card where it's literally falling apart is the destruction. And here's the Tower and the Tea Leaf cards. 
solid foundation, success with effort group three. You will have success with your mental health or physical health through effort and through help from one or more people coming in who are going to advise you well. They're going to have really good advice for you, group three. I would say to you also, seek a second opinion. If you see one doctor, you've seen one doctor forever and ever and you're not feeling better, seek a new doctor and get a second opinion if you can or explore a different modality such as an herbalist or a chiropractor or someone who does energy work such as myself. Acupuncturist. Look into all different modalities as well. I feel like there's a combination for you where you will feel better with a combination of a few different things. So we've got these Oracle cards and the first one is conflict. The second one is a creative endeavor for you, group three. Look at this, we have a loving man. We have a man here. We have two knights and a loving man here. Someone who truly deeply cares and wants you to feel better. And we have an increase, an increase of joy, abundance, and an increase of good health or good healthy days for you, group three mainly because of this change, because of these new people or things you are trying or a procedure that's done. So if you're questioning some kind of a procedure, I would definitely consider it. Let's see what we get with the color goddess casting cards. So first we have sky, faith, flight, limitlessness. It's telling you that you are limit limitless. You are strong. You are limitless. Look at also purple, dignity, nobility, and prominence for you. You will soon be very strong, not only in your convictions, with your mind, but also with your body and your mentality. You will soon have great mental clarity and be feeling physically healthy. You will be physically healthy, feeling healthier at the very least, group three. You have limitless potential. There are limitless modalities and signs. I'm getting like angels with this card too. We have the bird there, but I'm getting angels that are going to be giving you limitless aid and help and giving you limitless signs in order for you to gain strength and rebuild yourself to where you are feeling better. Let's see what we can get from the Divine Doors cards as a final little message here for you, group three. All right, so for you, I chose this one. Looks like this. A distant kiss in a prayer flag. I wish of all wishes that you were here through sunlight and rain. I need you near. I need you near. I feel like this is you. Maybe missing someone. Calling or calling in your angels and your guides. Needing them near you to help guide you to good health. That's what I feel that means for you, group three. So know that you are getting help in this realm and in the otherworldly realm. There are many beings, loving light beings helping you. Um, I would get a second opinion. I would look into different modalities of healing. And you are definitely going to soon be on the road to recovery, to increase in health. You've got a loving man around you who cares deeply about you. There is also a creative endeavor that you're going to be starting probably when you're feeling better. You'll probably have the motivation and passion to do this creative thing, right? So there you go, group three. I hope this helps you. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.